Hello there, everyone. It's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and we're here with another weekly recap, July 1st through the 6th. So a lot happened this this past week, and we're going to get right into the questions, the updates, and everything that Dr. E got up to in uh, on YouTube. So let's get right into it. Shipping, my friends. I'm so excited to say that everything is up to wait, up to date on shipping with uh, orders. The only orders I have outstanding are the orders that have printed paper collection pre-orders. So those collections are still not in the house yet. They're still on pre-order. So uh, as soon as those get into my hot little hands you all will know because i'm going to run to the camera to record the collection so you can see them and i will ship those orders out speaking of printed paper collections if you have not yet gotten into printing your own collections purchasing digital and printing at home i am offering my collections printed now um i added two collections to the shop and these have been added to the shop because you guys are requesting them. So we're keeping a list. And if a collection gets a lot of requests, I will print it. So the newest ones added to the shop is Sedona Sunset and Savannah Wild Kingdom. Hi, Mama. I, I am recording. No distraction. Go. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Go, 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 go. Out! I got to throw her out. She's been in hot water, man. Hot water. But I'll tell you about that later. That's not part of the weekly recap. So anyway, if you haven't yet been into digital collections, uh, I'm printing. And how I know what to print? By your requests. So if you are interested in having a particular paper phenomenon collection printed, send us an email. Jane is keeping a running list. And whichever one gets highest on on the list, that's what gets printed next. So added to the shop is Sedona Sunset and Savannah Wild Kingdom. Or just Savannah. I think I left it at Savannah. So check those out if you're interested in printed collections, paperphenomenon.com. Uh, next, super duper important, no class next week. So no class uh, for the week of... Let me look at the calendar. So no class on Wednesday, July 10th and Friday, July 12th. Why is Kathy not having a class? Because I sold tickets to my very first Crop at Home event, which is happening July 11th, 12th and 13th. So we are gonna crop at home, guys. We're going to work on the gorgeous Abigail Grace project featuring the absolutely amazing. Um, my spoon fell out. <laughs> featuring the absolutely gorgeous Tea Party collection. Uh, we're going to be making this project some, from start to finish with a different cover. For those of you who may not be interested in this cover, we're going to do a regular cover, right? So, um, I, the kits are sold out guys. I have a few additional seats. You can pick up a ticket to this event. Uh, it will be linked down below, or you can go to paperphenomenon.com and click on crop at home, the July 11th event and pick up a ticket if you'd like to join. Uh, so the project is amazing. It's featuring, of course, a gorgeous paper collection, a brand new binding style, my friends, that I know you are going to love. If you cannot attend the event, it'll be recorded. If you don't want to attend the event, but you love the project, you can pick the Abigail Grace, Grace project up in the shop. It is available now. The videos are available. We'll take you through the rundown of the brand new binding system and this gorgeous project. And... Uh, you can also get the the English Tea Party collection printed. That is actually in stock. 
and or digital all right so gorgeous gorgeous project my friends again the kits are sold out uh, but you can still make the project if you love to I really think that um, this is about the experience yes it's always about the project but the fact that we get to see each other it's gonna be via zoom if you, you didn't know we're gonna get to spend three days together and we're gonna make a project so it's gonna be fabulous there's games there's giveaways all that stuff right all of that stuff that goes on at an event such like this such as this but what I'm looking forward to is the community aspect of it and I cannot wait so Thursday July 11th there's still time to pick up I gotta use the do the finger action to pick up your ticket to the paper phenomenon event this way and I hope to see you there all right so the next thing on the updates because these are super duper duper important uh, is so again class will resume July 17th and 19th all right so now let's head on over to YouTube all right, so here we are on YouTube. Uh, you want to click on the videos tab. That way you get a rundown on everything that is that has been uploaded to YouTube. And once again, Dr. E has been doing an amazing job at adding videos to YouTube. So as you can see, here was last week's weekly recap. I interrupted the regular programming by adding a Fun, what I think is a fun brand new collection chit chat or let's call it a collection chit chat let me know if you watch this video what you guys think about it and should I do more collection chit chats so it's kind of it's showing off the collection of course showing you what you get in the collection and what can be done with the collection what are my first thoughts on what can be done with this collection so I had a great time filming this kind of picking my own brain uh, then we did how to make uh, photo mat tag toppers this was one of my highest uh, most viewed videos on my old YouTube channel so um, you may want to take a uh, watch this if you haven't all right I had to interrupt that because look who called my Robbie and I, I took a screenshot of him because, let me tell you guys, he is headed back to boot camp. Back to boot camp, and I will tell you why later. So he called to tell me that he's going to get his head shaved. So I will take another screenshot with, with his head shaved so you guys can see that. But let's get through the videos, and then we'll talk about Robbie going back to boot camp. All right, my friends, so here we go. So tag toppers, super fun video. If you have nesting dies, you're gonna love this technique. Uh, then Dr. E showed the Retrospection 365 album done by Yvette Clays, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a Christmas theme, you don't wanna miss it. Following through with her Christmas theme, the Jingle Bell Box, uh, my original project, and then a mini version done by Kim. Um, my gosh, and her last name escapes me, but she's on our Facebook community page. Forgive me, Kim Kim. Um, she did a beautiful mini version of it with an acetate uh, cover, which was gorgeous. Then Lady Chris Kringle. This is one of the projects that uh, you will find on the CVM lady Chris Kringle and this is like the most hilarious class so if you have the CVM you're gonna want to watch this class it's pretty pretty funny a uh, bag tag a lope such a fun project if you love bags tags and envelopes this is a great project for you I give you a supply list here give you a rundown on what we use and all that good stuff all right so such a great one if I'm not mistaken, I think I did this one on YouTube, but you there is a tutorial available for it as well. All right, so uh, then some more tag topper stuff. 
Then we have the 12 Project, a calendar year photo folio. It's such a good one. If you love folios, if you love those mini story types of projects, listen, watch this video. You're going to love it. Then we did a file folder version for those of you who love file folders. Then the perfectly, I mean, Doctory is doing such an amazing job with the way she is structuring these projects. This is just goes to show that I have been doing mini stories forever, my friends, forever. I just did not, um, I did not call it mini stories because it, it didn't come to me at that time. But back when I did this uh, 12 project, it's a calendar year type of folio, uh, that's a mini stories type of project. And then she went ahead and uploaded mini stories so you guys can see the correlation. So if you love the quick and easies, there you go. And then another version of the file folder um, folio, 12, the project is called 12, a calendar year. All right, because there's room for 12, photo, 12 fo photos. You can use it as a, a calendar year type of project or just a place to house 12 photos and more, right? Then the Baby Blocks Project, another super duper, duper popular project. You guys loved this project. So if you haven't seen it, if you haven't been with Paper Phenomenon for 10 plus years, then you may, this is a great time to be here because all of these videos are being refreshed, uploaded to my brand new channel. Coming up next week, Dr. E will be uploading the following. So let's check it out, my friends. So I'm gonna read from my list. So um, uh, I know that you guys have lots of requests for videos. And Dr. E takes that into consideration and she uploads those videos as that following week if she can, if it fits into the lineup. She's got a method to her madness. So uh, she is definitely observing your requests and putting them in line as they fit with what she's releasing. So videos for next week, Project 365, Quarter 3, Style 9. Uh, then Tutorial Paper Bag Mini. A matchbook style series so that's another fun series that I did on YouTube goodie box dispenser that's a Christmas project so following that Christmas in July project faux envelope gift card holder I must have went through an envelope phase there uh, back in the day where I was doing everything with envelopes so faux envelope gift card holder Christmas stocking which amazing Christmas project guys amazing Christmas and Picture Perfect 6x6 Mini and Signature Stories Basic Album. So really fun videos uh, uploading this following week. And guess what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna get right into your questions. So before we get into the questions, I'll tell you why Robbie is going back to boot camp. He is going to DI school, which is drill instructor. So as a Marine, and forgive me if I'm getting this wrong, you either volunteer your services or you are volunteered to do a term of either recruiter or drill instructor. And he chose drill instructor. I don't know why. So he's got to do three months again, two or three months of of boot camp, I guess is to refresh their memory on how awful it is, right? <laughs> uh, the perks that he does get is that he's off on the weekends, so he have a he has access to his phone. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna have it rough. He's gonna have it rough, 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 rough. And um, yeah, my baby, and that's my baby, and my heart is just for him all right so anyway into the questions my friends into the questions so keep Robbie in your thoughts guys send them good vibes and just pray for my baby that's it all right first question so it is from Tracy she says hi Kathy I was able to make to make the crop at home retreat next week yay I'm so excited uh, but really love the project. 
Oh, I, I wasn't able to make the crop at home next week, uh, but really love the project and would love to make it. Will you be releasing the project on its own for sale uh, after the event? I also just want to say I really look forward to your videos each week. You are truly an amazing teacher and crafter. Thank you so much. I got to go to, let me go to YouTube and look at these questions because... So right here in the community, if you ever want to ask a question, you go click on the community tab and you're going to find, oh, magnets are in stock. You're going to find a post like this. Uh, this is where you post your weekly recap questions. All right, so let me click here and let's take a look at Tracy's. Let me sort. I guess that was newest first. Oh, Rhea must have, Rhea sneaked in a question. So here's Tracy's question. Let's see. I also just want to say I really look forward to your videos each week. You truly are an amazing teacher and crafter. Thank you so much, Tracy. So in answer to your question, it is released already. Let's uh, pop on over to 22222 my website, Paper Phenomenon. And you can easily search for Abigail Grace. Because I have, I, I have a different, clearly I love the name Abigail. But you can search for Abigail Grace and there it is. You can buy the project only and it is 50% off right now. So you can pick that up, my friend. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry you couldn't make the event, but perhaps you can make the one in August. I think I'm going to have one of these uh, several times throughout the year. So there's one in August where we will be making a different project. All right, so next question. Uh, let's go to Rhea's question. I just had a thought. For your bright idea list, I love it. Have you, can you come up with a small size, perhaps six by six something with flips and flops and pulls and all the bells and whistles, something that would be sturdy enough for the littles, one to three year olds to play with and learn, family members, uh, by photos and uh, my grandbabies love paper all kinds of paper and love magnets and of course everything goes in her mouth Ooh, sounds like i'm gonna need a cover for it uh, but let me think about that i will absolutely think about that Rhea, and let you know what i come up with because the material for everything in her mouth hmm I don't know, but I will tell you, Robbie absolutely loved playing with paper and caps, any cap, soda bottle, milk bottle, you name it, caps. So let me think about that and I will get back to you. Great question. And Tracy, thank you for the question. All right, so the next question is from Kelly. Your designers do such an amazing do such amazing work turning out paper collections. I just finished watching a video where you mentioned that Birmingham paper collection was inspired by a request. So I'm going to get on the paper collection request bandwagon. Yellowstone, a cross between old west and modern, which is my, totally my jam. Uh, boots, belt buckles, cowboy hats, Brands, branding irons, ropes, wildflowers, barn, saloon, corral, train station, farmhouse, horse, cow, buffalo, fox, bear, moose, owl, fish, native prints, hand-drawn maps, rivers, mountains, color scheme matching the YNP thermal pools or paint pots. Can you tell I've been thinking about this a lot? As always, thanks for all of the creative inspiration that you and your team provide. Kelly, I love this idea. Such a great one. It has not been on the brain, I will tell you that, but why not? Now, I will say this, that um, if you're looking for something right away, uh, it's definitely would not, it. it's not my style, uh, or the paper phenomenon, doesn't have paper phenomenon flair, but the paper collection is adorable. Uh, it's by Echo Park. They put out a brand new cowboy type of collection. I don't know what it's called, but check it out. You guys know I'm a paper girl. And just because I 
am part, I'm a paper house now, right? And I offer paper collections does not mean that I don't buy paper collections from other companies because I do love them all. So if you have, if you need it right now and you want a little something to, to uh, hold you over until we release that collection, check out Echo Park. It's adorable. I think you would really like it. All right. But yes, it will go. I feel like to the top of the list, you, you made me excited about this. I'm going to have to watch Yellowstone. I've been meaning to watch it, but I haven't uh, for I don't know what reason, but I'm going to check it out. All right. Thank you for your request. And it is going to, I hate to say I got fishing, zoo, and cowboy three requests. So I don't know if it's going to go to the top of the list or not, but we shall see which one releases next. Next question. The next question is from, I'm going to totally butcher, oh no, Shidi, she, she day. I'm not sure, but forgive me for butchering this name as well. All right. Um, I was thinking about combining pages from two or three different projects in one album. Some of the pages are thicker than others. And I wonder if I can make the gusset around the thicker pages larger while leaving the other gussets for the same the other gussets the same size. So my question is, do all the gussets in the album have to be the same size? Such a good question. And the answer to that question is no. They do not have to be the same size. I have done this in other projects. However, I'm going to put a big pause and I'm going to give you an example. The gussets and the thickness of the pages have to be right. And I'm going to show you how. It's easier for me to to demo, to show you than to, I think, just explain and not show you. So let's head on over to the workspace. So this is one of my newest projects. This is the Abigail Grace project. I want you to look at these pages. All right. I want you to see. Let's let me see if I can show you this best when I do this right here. All right. So when you have a page, do I have a page off of a book? No, I do not have a page off of a book. Hmm. I do not have a page off of a book, which sucks. Hold on. Maybe a different example would be in line. No, this one will do. This one will do. I think this one will do. Um, when you, the binding pocket on a page, I don't know if you noticed, but with my po with my pages, my binding pocket changes. Okay. And I'm giving away some secrets here, guys. I'm going to have, I'm going to have to do away with you all because I'm giving away some secrets right now. The binding of my pocket, the binding pocket of my page changes depending on the position of the hinge. All right. And the reason for that is because of the stacking effect that you get when you attach a page to the hinge. All right. So let me show you. Typically, my first page, the page in the first hinge from the cover, right? The binding pocket is in the back. So the bulk of the page can go to the front. You see the bulk of the pages in the front of the hinge because the space in between the cover and the spine accommodates for that. All right. That's where the, that's where you get that space for the bulk. The middle page, my binding pocket is usually in the middle of the page. Why? Because then the bulk of the page is split between this gusset and this gusset. Okay. So when I get to my last page, you can either have the binding pocket in the back or in the front, depending on how much space. So here I have, uh, I think this is three quarters of an inch. I split the difference between the bulk of the second page and the bulk of the third page so that it can fit nicely in this space here. And then for the back, I did nothing. The binding pockets in the back because I don't want any bulk back here because this 
takes all the bulk. So when you guys um, get fancy and change my projects around, you have to th think about those things. The bulk of the page and how it's layering. So you're going to take your pages, you're going to stack them, and you're going to see where the bulk is in between those pages, and you're going to adjust your gusset accordingly. All right? You may have to change your binding pocket position, and that's really easy to do. Just find the place where it fits in the back and change that binding pocket. All right? Uh, and you should be fine. Okay? Just changing the gusset may not allow the book to lay properly because if, hold on, let me go back, because even if you make this gusset right here, um, even if I make this gusset here, let's say like um, an inch, right? And then this one, three quarters of an inch and uh you know, I leave enough space here for a bulk, for the bulk of this. Where your binding pocket is makes a difference because you, let's say if you have an inch here, right? An inch here. And you, you think you got a ton of space here, right? You got a whole inch to work with. But if your binding pocket is in the middle, the bulk of the page is split in between the here and here. All right. Does that, hopefully that makes sense. So where your binding pot, your binding pocket matters, the location of your binding pocket, because the bulk of the page is split in between the gussets to the front and the back of your binding pocket. All right. Let me know if that makes sense. Leave comments in the description box to let me know if that makes sense or if I need to explain this further, because I love when you guys make your projects your own. All right. I love that. And that happens all over the internet. You know, you're inspired by so many people. You take this, you take that and that, and you make things your own. And that is fantastic. A little shout out every now and then would be great. Thank you. Especially now that I have a new channel. Um, so uh, just think about the bulk. Think about where your binding pocket is and where that bulk is going to be split in between which two gussets. All right. Hopefully this makes sense uh, and let me know in the comments. Next question. Such a good question. Thank you so much for that question. Thank you so much for that question, Shetty. It was excellent. And hopefully I didn't butcher your name. Next question. All right. <laughs> wrong, wrong. All right. So uh, Nessia Stevens asked, hello, Kathy. Thank you so much for sharing your amazing talent. I'm still yet to finish, still yet to finish a project because I have a hard time trying to choose the paper to go with the album or just start that first cut to start decorating the album, LOL. Any advice would be great. But my question is actually to ask if you will be releasing the videos soon to YouTube for your simple folios, style one through five, any chance simple folio style one through five uh nessia these are already in your project folder yes hold on let me change the camera view yeah if you go to your project folder for simple folios uh style one through five simple folios i believe I'm not sure. I will check. I believe those are already in the project folder and they will eventually be released to YouTube. Dr. E will correct me if I'm wrong by responding to to this um, to this little clip of the video in the comment section or perhaps responding to your um, to your question in the comment section. But check your project folder there in there. Now in terms of matting in terms of matting, you just have to cut the paper. I want you to watch the matting of this project right here. This is the Remix Grad album. You will find this here on YouTube. You can also find it if you have the Remix Grad album membership. Um, I use a paper collection that has really big prints in it and I cut it, just cut it to make it fit. And what I do is, 
don't forget I've got some tickets available to the crop at home global event if you want to attend the link is in this in the description box I do a couple of techniques here where I cut the image off the page right just to make it fit look how cool is that right see that it's off the edge of the page I show you how to do that in this project and in so many other projects uh, just a quick demo of this super fabulous album I made back in 2011 I believe but a perfect example of a difficult finding it difficult to cut a piece of paper is this page here this was a page with a lot on it and literally I'm like you have to decide I'm gonna take this piece and put it here and take this beautiful image and put it over here and you gotta you just gotta cut it guys cut it to size and what you're left over with you're left over with this bird here is from this page so I took this and put it on this side and then took this and put it on that side just pick a side put it down and then you 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 deal with whatever is left over when you flip the page you deal with that when you flip the page you cut it like let's take this paper right here this is from the kitchen sink collection look at this paper and you're gonna say what how am I gonna use this paper right I don't want to cut into this one now because I have a project for it but look at this paper how would you cut into this paper I'm gonna give you a quick little demo and I think I'm gonna do a paper uh, chit chat new paper collection chit chat with the kitchen sink so that you can um, so I can show you what I would do with this paper but like look at this image this this image was part of a huge paper and I just took the paper fit it see which side I like see look at this how perfect so you want to take your paper and fit it see where it fits this would also fit here you could do a signature cut you will make a pocket and you cut it so I want you to cut and deal with the rest when you flip the page all right that's what you have to do cut and deal with the rest how would I handle this piece of paper I would cut this out right right there leave that there cut this like that around and then reposition this piece over the door so it can fit right here all right but that's why you watch my videos right but my best advice to you is cut what you want like I would do this right here and then you deal with the rest later do not try to deal with this paper as a whole pick and choose what you want first and then you continue from there if you try to deal with this paper as a whole you're gonna have a problem cutting it you're gonna have to deal with it as sections think of your paper as sections hopefully that helps I really hope that that helps that's how I kind of work with paper with my papers like this I think of it as sections and not as a whole all right another excellent excellent project to watch uh the matting process on and where i kind of do the same thing dealing with large images and it's it's kind of my matting style so you'll find this throughout a lot of projects but these are recent projects that i'm working on so this will this will help this project right here this is the matting of the bonus project that you got for the National Scrapbook Day Moving Parts project. This has a ton of large images. The paper is covered in images and you're like, where can I cut this? And I show you how to treat those papers in this project. All right, it's look, see this giant lion here that I wanted here and this pocket that did not fit on this pocket i would have cut right through his head or cut his tail off look off the page my friends matting off the page so watch these classes i really think that you will benefit this piece right here look i would have you would have to cut this part off right but i mat off the page use those images to your to your uh advantage and don't be afraid to cut into that paper and to treat 
everything on the paper as its own element, not as a full design. All right. I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments section if you if that helps you. If that kind of you had a light bulb moment there with that with that uh with uh with what I'm saying here. Hopefully it helped. Great great question. Thank you. The next question is from Ethel Morgan. Hi, Kathy. I've been making the Moving Parts albums and it turned out fabulous. That makes me so happy to hear. But for the album cover, I cut the chipboard in the wrong direction, making the cover flimsy and didn't realize it at the moment. What can I do to make the chipboard cover more substantial? I really love this project and want to save it. Such a good question. Ethel, I have two things for you, my darling. Two solutions. Hopefully you didn't cover it yet, but if you did and you do digital, you can reprint and cover. All right. So let's talk about this very quickly. Ah, uh, so workspace, hold on. Let me get rid of all of this. So this is what she's talking about. So for a cover, your, your chipboard, let me, let me grab a chipboard here. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find chipboard. Hold on. Hold, please. All right. So here's a piece of my chipboard. This is the Maker Basics brand uh, chipboard that you can find on paperphenomenon.com. For large albums, This it matters for everything, but it really matters for large albums. <coughs> when you cut your chipboard, there is a bendy side. And you'll know, just try to bend it. There's one that bends really easy. And then there's a side that gives you a lot of resistance that there's no bend. That's the side that you want going this way. All right. You don't want your album to bend easily going this way. All right. You want it to bend going top to bottom. All right. I know that's counterintuitive, right? The reason why you want it to bend going top to bottom, because the spine is going to support it. Okay, the spine will support it. And I talk about this in this album. Now you could do two things. You can double up your chipboard, right? You can rewrap. Uh, oh. Hmm. If you attach your you attach your binding system already. So there goes that one. So you can rewrap your album, but you would have to treat this as separate, right? If you didn't put any inside cover pockets yet, you can still save it by rewrapping this. You would, you would wrap this side, wrap this side. Oh no, you, yeah, you can save it. You wrap this whole thing, wrap it. So you want to create a frame, create a frame, my love, create a frame. Um, you can cut this piece a quarter of an inch smaller. All right wrap it in P3 tape, stick it on here, then decorate your cover. Boom, done, all right? Um, you can create, do the same thing and create a frame, all right? That'll be fine. Or if you haven't decorated and you don't wanna do the wrapping and add another layer on top, you can use wet glue when you apply your pattern paper. A uh, nice amount of wet glue, not where it's going to warp everything. So use wet glue and and burnish the heck out of it. So it dries nice and nice and flat. Put it down, face down, perhaps something heavy on this here, not on top of the album, on this part right here, nice and flat so that it dries nice and and flat okay but i really think that cutting another piece of chipboard the right way right bendy side uh bendy side this way um sticking it on then matting is the way to go all right and then you have kind of like this framed out cover all right and it'll it'll look beautiful i guarantee it'll look beautiful and you will not no one will notice that it's a fix all right it's going to look like a design element so let me know what you think about that great question next question is from colleen 
Hello, Kathy. First, thank you for your efforts to give us wonderful paper collections with excellent quality and price point. Thank you so much. Secondly, I so love and enjoy your creativity and making it available to us who also love paper crafting. Last fall, I purchased the Ladies Who Lunch paper collection along with the original moving parts tutorial. Unfortunately, life intervened and although I was able to finish my reference book, I was not able to follow up with the YouTube videos of decorating with the Ladies Who Lunch paper. Uh, after all the trouble that was created for you on the Paper Phenomenon channel, on the old one, I wonder if you can give me an idea when the Moving Parts original decorating with Ladies Who Lunch will post to the new Paper Phenomenon channel. Thank you for all you do. Colleen, I will talk to Dr. E and see if she can get that in the lineup for next week. All right. Um, there is a lot of those were done on YouTube live. So posting those to the project folder would pose a problem because then that would affect my watch hours. So I'm going to see if I can talk to Dr. E about posting those next week to the YouTube channel if there doesn't need to be a lot of editing to those videos. All right. So stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for your kind words and for loving the projects and following paper phenomenon. Thank you. Next question, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Question about using your affiliate code. Is it just by clicking on your link that you get credit for the sale? I was interested in buying the PPD paper you mentioned in one of your weekly recaps and wanted to make sure I was doing it correctly. Yes, Brenda. Oh, hold on. There's more. Also, do we have or will we be getting a schedule for the upcoming global retreat? P.S. When you were talking about the CVM, I did join. I couldn't help it. Hugs. I freaking love it, Brenda. Well, make sure that you watch. Hold on. Brenda, make sure you watch the Lady Chris Kringle in the CVM. It's a good time. It's a good time. Um, and... Yes, there is a schedule posted. Uh, I had it somewhere around here. I can't show it to you here, guys, because there is uh, your access code, your meeting ID, your your passcode and all that that you need for the events. But Jane created the most beautiful itinerary for you guys, and it is in the project folder. So everything you need is in there, my love. Look in the project folder. You will see it. And for the affiliate code, you click on it and I get credit, not for the click, I get credit if I get a commission if you purchase. So thank you for buying the paper through my affiliate code. I don't know why I didn't do this many, many moons ago. I've been uh, sharing other people's products for years now and I just, and Dr. E has been telling me this for years, Kathy, do affiliate, do affiliate. So, um, I finally got one. I have one with a cherry on top. I have one with Amazon. Scrapbook.com declined, declined my affiliate code. I don't know why. I hope that was a fluke. So I recommend scrapbook.com all the time. So I'm not sure why they declined, but they did. Uh, but that's why you won't see it there. Uh, so I will link to where you can find it with my affiliate code. If I don't have an affiliate code and I can't find it through one of my affiliates, I will definitely link. But of course, if I'm recommending the project, it just makes per the, the product, it makes perfect sense that I earn a little bit of commission. And I'm finally, finally in this century, right? <laughs> so thank you so much for the question, Brendan. Thanks for clicking on those links. I appreciate it. Next question. Next question is from Monique. Hi, Kathy. Your new Seaside Escape embellishment video you did, or Jane, Dr. E, use the scanning cut machine or cut them all out by hand, especially the, mon the monster leaf. Uh, looks so challenging. Love the collection. I have another question. Do you have a picture perfect supersized photo album volumes one through six 
being uploaded anytime soon. I have been working on one through three and six for my daughter's 30th birthday gift. There are no videos online to see your matting. I don't know when that's in the lineup, but now that you ask, Monique, I'm sure Dr. E has been rearranging her schedule so that they can move up in the in the release of the video. So I'm going to leave that up to Dr. E to uh, put a little comment in there on when those are in the lineup. Because uh, remember, she does have to edit these videos to put them back on the new channel. So that's why they're taking a little bit longer. But I will let Dr. E answer when those are in line. And in, for the embellishments, they're cut both ways. But as of late, and I would say a long late, um, I have I've used the Scan and Cut forever since I believe my the first release of my paper collection. Uh, but as of late, Jane has been cutting mine out using both the Scan and Cut and a new machine that she has called the Juliet, and uh, they are gorgeous as you can see. But um, you can cut them all out by hand. It's just use an exacto knife uh, i have a great video on me cutting embellishments out and just showing you my process so um i do not have an embellishment sheet here in front of me because jane cuts all my embellishments but i'll do a quick video on little tips and tricks uh, on cutting out embellishments all right so stay tuned for that Oh, you, I know where I just recently did it. I uploaded a prepping video on in the Crop at Home event for the Abigail Grace collection. And I just did a prepping video on cutting out your embellishments by hand. So I will do one for the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for the question. And I can't wait to see you post those albums on the community Facebook community page because I know our fellow crafters would love seeing your version of these projects so thank you monique all right last question is from brenda hall kathy your digital paper is by far most amazing thank you so much uh is there any chance you can create a zoo collection this is the second request for a zoo collection uh, i have the safari collection and i love it but i would love a zoo collection I know I go to the zoo a few times a year. I bet a lot of people enjoy the zoo like I do. Thank you for considering it. I certainly, certainly have considered it, Brenda. And it is now in the top three. So we shall see. Let's see what the designers are inspired by. Which one inspires them first? So uh, we shall see which one comes up. But right now we're working on the passenger collection. It is so, so amazing. And I can't wait to, for its full release. But make sure you check out paperphenomenon.com for those new releases, the pre-orders. Whenever I have a pre-order, I have a special pricing on pre-order. So you get it at a deeper discount. And you wait longer for it, but you get it at a better price. You're eventually going to get it, right? So just think about that. And there's lots of things, 50% off. I all, oh, all digital is still 50% off. So you don't see the price necessarily. When you look in my shop, you have to put it in your cart to see the discount. So thank you all for the great questions. I have questions for you guys in this video. So be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, in response to those questions and I can't wait for uh, a new week and this week will be a little bit slow on on YouTube and in the project folders for me because I'm going to be doing the crop at home event so if you'd like to join me over there I wish I would have printed these on cardstock get your ticket uh, this ticket is in the project folder so you can print it on cardstock and have it as memorabilia so as ephemera so i'm really excited about these super cute little tickets 
So um, thank you so much for watching. And remember, my channel is really new. So the thumbs up, the, the subscribe to my channel, all that is the watch hours, very, very important. So if you watch to the very end of this video, thank you, thank you so much. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and until next time.